Winter is coming. It's my favorite season. If you didn't know, now you know. But before that happens, I have a week-long canoe trip coming up in the Adirondacks. My buddy Craig Dwell and I are heading up to Low Lake. And I was just on the phone with some of the good people at Racket River Outfitters. And they were telling me that there's no fire ban in effect yet. And that rain is quite possible. But they also gave me a lot of information in regards to the crazy chipmunks and mice. Wicked aggressive this year. Gnarly. Sharp teeth and everything. They're cutting through tents. Bear bags, anything that's not an ursac or a bear canister, they're just boring holes right through. So I figured that would be a really good reason to use the Lux Mini Peak XL. There's no floor, there's no tub. If there's any crazy rodents in the area and they want to sabotage a tent, they can sabotage Craig's because they'll slip right underneath mine. And I figured this would be a really good opportunity to seam seal the hot tent and use it before winter comes to make sure that everything's hunky-dory and okay. All systems go. So I'm going to seam seal it and I'm going to patch any holes that may have occurred last season caused by sparks or sticks and get this thing ready to go. The weather on our trip is calling for some rain so I want to make sure that this thing is all seam sealed and ready to go. And if it fails, I'll know. It needs more work before winter. But before I get to seam sealing this, I've got to make the seam sealer. So let's go over that. Here's what you're gonna need. Silicone and mineral spirits. A container and a brush. Add enough mineral spirits to the silicone to get a runny consistency, like warm honey. Starting from the top of the tent, I paint all visible seams, working my way down, being sure to work the mixture into all the seams and the guy out points. And then I wipe it down. This stuff is supposed to dry clear. That's what tarp tent says anyway. Speaking of tarp tent, this is not my idea. I got this idea from tarp tent. I saw one of their videos on how to make seam seal and I thought that's a really good idea. I have a lot of tents. More than some, not as many as others. So I think it's much more cost effective to do it like this, provided that it works. And I'm sure it will because Tarp Tent is known to make awesome stuff. Speaking of which, Tarp Tent, your Pro Trail LI, that thing makes me all hot and bothered inside. Did it just get hot out here? Oh, boy. Every time I think about it, I get a little weak in the knees. Whew, 